Hi friends, welcome back in channel SciTaker. In this video, I am going to do the CPU throttling test comparison between the POCO F3 GT versus POCO X3 Pro device. So this is a CPU throttling test which I am trying to do after the recent software update from both phones. So the POCO F3 GT is right now running the 12.5.5 and whereas the POCO X3 Pro which is running 12.5.4, latest update. Let's see how much difference we can actually expect in terms of the CPU throttling between this both of the phones. And let me do open the CPU routing application first in both phones. Let's see how much difference we can actually expect between these both devices. And right now, the, all the background apps are completely clean in both phones. You can clearly see here. And both phones are the 8 GB RAM variants only. So which I'm trying to use right now at this moment. Let's see how much difference can it be there regarding these both devices. So Dimensity 1200 versus the Snapdragon 860 chipset. So what will be the scores and these are the maximum number of threads which i'm trying to use so in this application we can actually use 100 is a maximum that's what i'm trying to use to push this kind of limit let's see which phone will be able to handle this kind of extreme level uh, testing so let's uh, let me show you the brightness as well so brightness is also kind of uh, pretty close not much slightly yes let's start the test without wasting the time let's see which phone will be having what kind of uh, cpu throttling results and before starting the test let's check the temperature is of 30 degrees and 30 degrees both are completely fine and my room temperature is close to 28.3 degrees so it's pretty close to the, my room temperature in terms of the temperature readings at this moment so this is a cpu throttling test which i'm trying to do after the recent update so every time whenever we get the miui update we need to do this kind of cpu throttling to see how is the temperatures and how is the throttling is managed for uh, stable performance after a long time so this test will go for about 15 minutes of time. So again, I'll be back after some time just to check how is the temperature readings going on. So in the beginning, both are completely same at exactly 30 degrees, but we'll find out the temperatures after some time. So right now, as you can see, this is the exact CPU throttling graph which we got between both phones. And in terms of the temperatures, I did not see any kind of huge difference. So both are kind of slightly kind of close only. So there's nothing much huge difference regarding the temperatures, but the dimensity 1200 in this phone did heat a little bit more than usual. I mean, it kind of close to maybe let me show you the exact the 37 degrees right now we are seeing in the battery settings and let me just show you in the POCO X3 to 38 degrees as you can see 38 degrees and 37 degrees at this moment after finishing the CPU totaling test results. And this is exactly the graph which we got in both phones after the recent update 12.5.5, 12.5.4. And let's take a look at the CPU totaling. CPU total up to 74 percentage and 66 percentage of its maximum performance. And the 3,26,000 is the highest. Average is 2,76,78,000. And the minimum is 2,26,000. So overall, the dimensity 1,200 has got really good high powerful chipset when compared with the Snapdragon 860. You can clearly see the results, how it is. And performance consistency, you can see it's not that consistent. And in the POCO F3 GT, we can actually expect some kind of consistent. So that's it friends, thank you for watching this video. This is a quick comparison between both phones in terms of the CPU throttling after the recent update. See you in the next video on the for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.